Welcome to the Ilsborian Historian. My name is Rex. Today we're going to take a look at this ancient photo album and the 1911 Turkey Day football game. For some context, football in the early 20th century was an extremely violent sport. In 1906, President Teddy Roosevelt stepped in and helped create more rules for safety and to help football become more enjoyable to watch. Nevertheless, by 1911, there was still a significant amount of death at the college football level, not to mention a bunch of injury. There were only so many high school football teams in Florida, and so often teams like the Hillsborough High School Terriers would play college-level juniors or reserves. This photo album is for Captain Asp from Douglas Connolly. Asp and Connolly, along with others, will go on to form a group called Ye Royal GG, a secretive skull and bones society at HHS. But that is a tale for another day. The coach of this legendary football team is George Sparkman. The Tampa newspapers make it clear that the Terriers play home games at the Tampa Bay Gridiron. This is a reference to Plant Field on the grounds of the Tampa Bay Hotel. It should also be noted that at around this time, the new Hillsborough High School building had opened on Ola Avenue. We are told that the team practiced in front of the high school. Note the distinctive fence. And according to Sanborn insurance maps, there should be a building across the street, two-story with a wraparound porch. These precise details can be seen in the following images. It's Thanksgiving Day, 1911, and the annual Turkey Day game is with Duval High of Jacksonville, the great rival of HHS prior to Plant High School existing. In the background, we can see the minarets of Henry Plant's hotel. Note the cars on the sideline. I have read accounts where when these games went too long into the night, the cars on the sideline would simply turn on their headlights to help. The Turkey Day game began with Asp kicking off to the 20-yard line. Jacksonville has a blocked kick, and HHS takes over on the Duval 10-yard line. Freeburn fumbles, but Asp shoves a ball over the goal line, and the Terriers are in the lead at the end of the first period, 6-0. There is a fierce, heated rivalry in this game between the Duval Tigers of Jacksonville and the Hillsborough Terriers of Tampa. The state championship is on the line. In the second period, Duval will pound the ball relentlessly, all the way to the HHS 20-yard line. However, they fail to score.
It's a very defensive game of field position. At the start of the third period, Duval gets the ball on its own 35-yard line. Eventually, it will advance to the HHS 10-yard line. However, it cannot score a touchdown. And Hillsborough will kick the ball back to midfield. In the fourth quarter, there is a frenzy of activity. But in the end, HHS will beat Duval by a score of 6 to 0. Orlando High School noted that they had once tied the Terriers and that maybe they should be considered state champions. But nobody listened to all that nonsense, and the Hillsborough High School Terriers were indeed the state football champions. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with all of my HHS videos, and as always, go Big Red.